So today I'm looking at a ship by Jushers. We spent all this time trying to figure out what his name is or how to say it right, and I, I you know, I'll try my best. I think it's Jusher, um, but it could be a number of other things. Anyway, onto the ship. This is the uh, Galactica. Uh, it says Galactica 10. I don't know if this is the 10th revision or if this is actually Galactica 10. But uh, as you can see, it's a, a ship-style design. What looks like it looks like a swimming pool like swimming pool tiling in there, which is kind of cool. It's yeah. rare to see people actually decorate the walls of their uh, hangar bays. Um, so it sort of reminds me of an oil tanker. It does a little bit. It does a little bit. A bit short, but yeah, it's the same similar design, isn't it? It's more like a modern day ship. Uh, so yeah, yeah he's... Like yeah, we're going to take a look at the propeller as well. Um, so he's got quite a large selection of turrets. He's got a monster turret on the front, just one big massive turret there. Then he's got six smaller turrets. Really liking the lighting here as well between, you see he's got lighting there by the missile tubes uh, for the, from the crystal. That looks awesome. Um, also, it's a nice decision to see, so you've got a sort of looks like teeth where he's allowed some to stick out from behind those wedges. Uh, he's got an escape pod also on the out, dot to the outside of his airlock rather than inside. Um, I really love the engines which he's got on the back here. I know because I was trying to make some for my uh, new ship one and I had real big I had a bit of trouble making them look right and I'm still working on them now so you know um, seeing a completed set of sort of satellite thrusters I guess you'd call them. Um, it works really well and he's used the lava at the back, the crystal, it's kept in tone with the colour scheme, red, black, orange, or brown, should be said. And um, as you can see, the propeller. What an awesome propeller. Do you know what you should have done? <laughs> and I don't normally tell people to do anything with their ships, but just for the purposes of, uh, you know, for the purposes of, <laughs> just for the lols, I guess. If he'd put a turret, if he just converted this bit of the ship to a turret that sticks off the back, he could have made it spin. <laughs> That's the only reason, <laughs> so it could spin. Because <laughs> you could you could dock it where the where the axle is right there. You could dock it just here, and uh, <laughs> and then it would spin. But it doesn't it doesn't need to spin. <laughs> so it still looks awesome. It's perfecto. Um, so there we go. That's pretty much the whole of that. We've got another three turrets at the back. And some plex doors. No, they're not plex doors. They're hardened holes. Okay. So let's find the door and go explore. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Need gravity. Ah, uh, okay. Wait a minute. No. He must have put it in a faction. Oh well. He does have a faction. Yeah, see, people, just so you know. Faction box stopped me from doing your stats, so uh, try to remember to keep your faction block off when I get here. Okay, so. Uh, um, didn't, you, uh, didn't he ask you to take it, uh, use the uh, faction command? Yeah, actually he did. Yeah, he had it put into his faction. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'll, I'll just edit out the bit where I said that. Or everyone will hear this and they can have a little chuckle. Do you know what? I'm gonna go outside. That's it. There's no more. In There's nothing more there. Yeah, it's very, very uh, thick. So, yeah. There's like no corridors except for that one. Yeah. It's interesting. It's almost like the uh, the rest of the is cosmetic. The bridge looks cosmetic. Maybe there's a camera up there. But I think that's about it. Um, right, so that's pretty much it for this ship. So I guess we'll get him on to... Uh, let me just see if he's got an AMC. Can someone type? Oh, I'll do it. Yeah, he does. He's got EMC. Very fun. Okay, so this ship is a hand build. So I'm going to get the ballistics gel out and see if he wants to give it a few shots. Okay, so we're going to do one click. I'm going to see what the AMCs are like on this guy. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna, That's he, good. He, he, he cost 52 milliseconds of lag doing that. 
Yeah, well, um, he also did like a ton of damage and we're really close to the sun in this test. 42? 43. 43 damage. Uh, 43 uh, penetration on that one. So I just tell him to do the one second now. If I'm not looking at it, I'll be fine. I think. Oh dear. Yeah, I think the game's actually glitched a bit. We've seen this before. Uh, sometimes there's just so many projectiles, the game glitches out. So the true penetration should have ended at about 55. But. Java apparently finds the shortest route for the damage, and so then you, you can end up doubling it. <laughs> you end up with super projectiles. I can't remember the exact exp explanation I was given for this. Um, but yeah, that's uh, quite a big difference. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40. So yeah, 140 penetration on one second. So we're gonna give him 30 seconds against the gel next. I don't uh, think he's gonna need it. So brace I'm yourselves. I'm going to the next sector over. I want to get away from lag. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go for the sustained fire test. He's through. He's through. I think he did it in 20 seconds. So it went through. But if you look at the actual damage pattern, what's interesting is, and it's the same here as well, you can see he's legitimately damaged from there to there. Because the difference between one click and a second shouldn't be much. But the difference between, you know, sustained fire, anyway. You can see the proportional difference. You can see it got to about there and then went boom. <laughs> uh, so just a few projectiles made it like twice as far, but most of them were just carving out a path. It's a very interesting pattern that we've got here. I'm going to ask him if he wants to do bobbies and uh, yeah. Okay, so round one. Let's see how he does up against the uh, MT3. So it's a moving we bobby like target. Yeah, it did. It took down the shots in like one shot. It's... It must be dead. Is that is that thing dead? Yep. Yep. We got a loot cloud. We got a loot cloud. Cloud confirmed. Yeah, there's not much left of this guy. Okay. Don't think he actually got a, got a single shot off, to be honest. Right then, let's get the next ship out. Just rammed him. Whoa! Where is it? He's shooting at it. I can't even see it yet. Oh, there, there it, it is. is. There it is. What the hell? It was on the attack That's before it had loaded. But he's desperately trying to actually look at it. So now we have a fight. The shields and the trigger are down, and it's trying to evade. He's saved only by the fact that he doesn't need his gun to do anything. And it's taking all the damage. <laughs> oh my god! Look at it! Um, that is a big hole right there. It's just running away. The V8's running away, mate. It's taking too much damage and it just doesn't want to know. He's good, he managed to get right. Wait, who's it shooting at? It's shooting at... <laughs> Ziggy Zoo. <laughs> we oh. the episode. It'll be a boot. I think he managed to... I think he managed to dodge it though, to be fair. Yeah, he did. And so he's still uncloaked. So he's open to being shot. Hang on. I think we've got a ring out. Is it moving towards him? It's not. Um, I have to look. It's dead. Technically, he sniped that, but pff, whatever. 
So here we are, and basically, uh, yeah. He's eating the cloud. He managed to get rid of that, so uh, there you go. So yeah, that was the MT-8, that's done. So um, we'll get on to the MT-9. He's doing really well with this build, you know. Okay, here we go, Mark 9's in the, in the field. Where'd he go? Mark 9's flying down that way. Okay, let's try and get them both in the shot. There we go. Right then, mate. Let's see what you got. He's taken the shields down already. There's damage on that V8. I haven't, I haven't even seen it. Sorry, the V9. I haven't even seen the 9 shoot yet. Yeah, none of the missiles hit. Dead weapons computer, but uh, it's dead now. It's dead. Weapons cloud. Yeah. Let's go check out the damage. It's pretty nasty. So he's been cut straight through. So next up is the ten, and that will uh, that'll be the last test. Mark ten is here. Oh my god, where's it coming from? It's coming from above me. Oh! <laughs> Come on, mate. Let's see if we can get one of these guys to actually fire a shot off. Uh, there it goes. It fired a shot. Two shots. Collision! Oh, great. Updates are taking the entire priority of... He's shooting it. Ah, it's priority. actually shooting now. It just shot. It actually did some firing for a change. Oh, it's taking out his turrets one at a time. Oh, is that what it's doing? Well, you better hurry up, Trigger, because uh, you're running out of time, son. Shooting at him. But none of it seems to be doing anything. Is he dead? No. I don't know. No, I think it's just his turrets. Yeah, it doesn't say core overheating. But he's not moving, and the trigger's just going mental. I think his thing might have... Oh, he is dead. He says I died. He is dead. It was close. For a, I thought he was going to do it. Yeah. I think it must have just been prioritizing his turrets over anything else. Oh, yeah. Kill shot. <sighs> Although, actually, no, that isn't the kill shot. Wow, look at that one. Oh, wow. It's still pounding on the hole. Either. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at the damage. This is a very close fight. I actually thought that the V10 was going to go down, but it seems like I was saved um, by the additional uh, blocks that were placed around the uh, cabin. Yeah, the final refit of the Migraine Trigger series actually had like some additional blocks placed around the core and the computers on the uh, section of the stalk that meets the mushroom head. So yeah, um, looks like that actually made a massive difference because without that, he would have just chewed straight through it. His tactic of going for the stalk was actually really well, you know, that's a well thought out and proven uh, strategy. So um, fair play, mate. You actually nearly beat him. If you have a look, if you have a look inside here, there are uh, no computers missing, but, and it's not, you know the whole this whole area is intact but if you look at, at this side it's a mess so uh, yeah there's that so I'm now gonna jump back to the ship and uh, it's strangely his shields were so good that they actually recharged you know enough to stop any more damage from being done after the ship was killed. Um, most of his turrets were taken out first. We didn't realize, but it seemed like Trigger was actually prioritizing the, tar the, the turrets over his core for a while. You can see this one got smashed up pretty bad. Um, and then you can see one hit there where it went through the, uh, through the turret and destroyed what was underneath. And we believe, if we have a look in this hole here, uh, of course, my build mode's all messed up. Right. Now. Right, can we stop moving? That'd be great. Okay. So if I have a look down here. It's such a massive hole. It's just a massive hole in the 
But I can see what he's done here to make it so tough. Great fight. He nearly did it. Um, very laggy, his weapons. Very laggy indeed. But uh, like I say, we uh, we got there in the end. What, why is it? Why did it just teleport over here? It's because everyone was getting too close to it. <laughs> you guys. So anyway, thanks for bringing that down for me, man. And... Uh, Cheers for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to be doing lots more of these sorts of review videos. If you want to have your video, uh, your ship featured, um, get in contact in the usual way. And there's lots of videos on how to do that. So just look back in my uh, in my links in my history. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.